Hello everyone, Roxas here, coming you to episode number 24 of our uh, Trauma Center <laughs> Under the Knife 2. Let's play on the last episode. Uh, the blood thickened because we got kidnapped. First, actually, first we had a. Uh, <clears throat> we had to solve the outbreak that was Operation Hades, and we managed that with no problem at all. And now. And in the next episode we got kidnapped and had to operate on a moving vehicle. As you can see, I redid the surgery, so I got an A, so yay. And yeah, let's see what happens with us next. Uh, maybe they're not gonna be us, but they're gonna tell us about something else, or what's happening in, at Caduceus while we we're kidnapped. Maybe, I don't know. But yeah, let's see what happens. Oh. Start, yes. Okay, so it's with us being kidnapped. It's been a while since they blindfolded us. Where could we be? If the car kept going west, we should we could be all the way past Santa Balboa. I can tell the road is really steep and curvy. We must be on a mountain or something. Angie, are you okay? Yes! Hey, who told you to speak? That was not the voice that I gave him, but okay. Alright, I'm taking off your blindfold. Make us any sudden moves and you'll regret it. Okay, get out. Don't try anything stupid. Where are we? Wait. That mountain looks familiar. What a huge man. <coughs> what a huge mansion. It's like a castle. Shut up, I keep walking. Ellipsis, this is such a remote area. Is this Delphi's main hideout? Delphi's? Or Delphi's? <clears throat> Sorry, the change of voices is kinda hurting my throat. <laughs> my lord, I have brought them. Ooh. Okay, hold on. I think it's more important that this, so let's go to the OR so that you see his face. Hmm. <laughs> Welcome to my manor, Dr. Styles. Oh, pff. okay. Just a welcome. <laughs> you must be there fighting new boss. Exactly, I am Henry. Henry von Reto. I am overjoyed to meet the ones who blasphemed against Adam, my venerable grandfather. The vengeance I've made I've waited so long to exact is now at hand. So you're the one behind all the outbreaks we've been fighting. Ha! Doctors! You talk with men's lives defying the rules of nature. You prevent natural selection from occurring, instead of bringing mankind the pain of an of old age. And yet you have adamantly deny the clear truth. If you would just leave things in our hands. Humanity would return to its natural state. Don't you get it? Your acts of terrorism have all failed. Guilt is no longer a threat to mankind. I know. Anyone who values life could never understand what you're trying to do. And we don't care to. You're nothing more than murderers hiding behind ideas that aren't even rational. Racial? I think that's the word. <laughs> this little inspiring match of ideologies isn't worthy my time. Truth shall prevail in the end. Besides, people like you could never understand the intricacies of guilt like we do. It's unfortunate, Dr. Styles. You're right, it's unfortunate. I wish I could talk some sense into you. I find it humorous, though, that you actually believe guilt is no longer a threat. What? Guilt is limitless, the forms it can take exponential. The serum that Acropolis created, it will become as worthless as the fools who created it when we introduced a new guilt into the world. What? Yeah. It was really obvious that they had to introduce a new guilt in this game. I mean, we fought six... We have fought six uh, different guild strains of the first game, so... 
just uh, redoing them on this game, it's a little bit... Uh, considering uh, game creation, it's lazy for them not to bring a new strain of guild, so I'm happy that they added it. But I think it's a little bit uh, late into the game. Well, I'm not just gonna chant how many chapters there are because I don't remember, <laughs> of course, but... Yeah, it makes sense that they knew, did a new new strain of guild, because if not it'd just be like a remastered edition of the last game, and that's not... that's not cool. A new strain? How could that pass? Wait! <laughs> then the guild we couldn't identify that was inside Emilio was. Oh, since Emilio! Okay. Okay, that's a good easter egg. <laughs> ah! Okay. We possess the hosts who give birth to New Guild, descendants of the noble Adami himself. Now, on to you, Miss Thompson. Huh? I must extend a special welcome to you, just as we did when you were brought to us as a newborn. You too have the genes of a sinner. It must be fated that you have br been brought back to us. Fate? Fate, don't give me that. You people ruined my father's life. It is such a blessing that uh, we have found the lost maiden, the mother of a new generation of guilt. Your body shall nurture the new strain. I can't wait to tell the young prince and princess. This will surely satisfy them. Are the prince and princess uh, new strains of guilt? Or does he have sons? Maybe he considers guilt as his son. And or daughter. Yeah, I think that's how it is. You're going to use Angie as a host? Prince and princess? No. You monsters, I won't let you do that to her. Don't move. Uh. <laughs> what did I do to you? Resistance is futile, Dr. Styles. Consider the situation you are in. You are in. Besides, you will be taking part in the coming of the new guild as well. You will make a fine test subject for the guild we cultivate out of her body. You. Save your breath. I've wasted enough time talking to you. Take them to their cell. Yes, sir. Get over here. Henrich, you can't do this. Henrich! Ellipses! <laughs> I like saying ellipses. Heaven smiles down upon us. Okay. Improvising. I guess this is not going to be a surgery, but us trying to get out uh, of our cells, so this is going to be interesting. Okay, uh, I don't think we've operated on something that it's not a patient. Uh, because in the last game, I remember operating on, on the first game, I remember operating, quote-unquote, on the bomb. But now I think... Uh, everything has been... Well, except for this, but it's just the little dynamic. Yeah, there hasn't been any... Okay! It is taking too long, so let's do this. Improvising! Let's get to it! Oh, it's an electric door! Are we gonna burn it with a laser? Get in there! Ellipsis. No. Dang it. As if it's gonna happen. Still, we have to escape somehow. Ellipsis. Angie. Angie, are you okay? You must be terrified after what Henrich said, but... Dr. Styles, it scares me to think about being implanted with guilt. But it's really getting to me is that my body will be used to help create it. I became a nurse to treat people suffering from diseases like guilt, not harm them. 
Angie. Come on, we can't give up hope yet. It, that's exactly what they want us to do. If they do infect you, I'll surgically remove it, I promise. I won't let anyone else fall victim to guilt. Either. For as long as I live. Yes. You're right. I shouldn't panic. The world's greatest surgeon is right here beside me. I'm sorry, I'm okay now. Nobody comes that fast, but okay. I'm just gonna run with it. Yeah, don't worry, Angie. I'll, I'll protect you. I know you will, Doctor. I wish we could... We could have gotten more information about... Of... Information out of Henrich about uh, the, his new guilt. I kind of lost it back there. Don't beat yourself over it, Doctor. Anyone would have. Although... Didn't it seem strange? It seemed like he didn't know about the guilt we found inside Emilio. Oh! Yeah, I didn't use it in the outbreaks either. And this prince and princess, are they... There are so many questions we don't have answers to. Well, there's a lot of things to report after we get out of here. That's our biggest problem, though. How do we escape? Hmm? What? Hey, this electronic lock. Hmm, what is it, doctor? Well, if I had the right tools, I could probably make it open from here. Doctor? Really, Doctor? I have some operation tools with me. Is there any chance they could work? They would work? What? They didn't confiscate them? I hit a few of them while we were performing the operation in the car, just in case. Quick thinking, Angie. <laughs> Thank you. So you think you can use them? This just my work. Alright, I'm going to give it a try. Operation tools must be utilized to open the cell door. I guess technically it's uh, like a surgery, so... What do you think, Doctor? This is gonna be one tough patient, but I should be able to manage. To tell you the truth, I never imagined it would have... We'd have to disable an electronic lock. Well, I did have to disarm a bomb once with a scalpel and a laser. That was interesting. <laughs> oh, I'll go back to the first game. Was that when... There was a bomb to threat you at the conference you attend with Dr. Casal? Yeah. Yeah, that was... Actually, she was not Dr. Casal yet. She was Dr. Mayers at the time. Yeah, that was probably the worst patient I've ever operated on in my entire life. But I learned a valuable lesson that day too. In times like these, you just have to do whatever you can with what you have and hope for the best. Of course, I also learned why they called Dr. Casal the Iron Vixen. Ha, <laughs> she's a tough one. Now let's get this door open and to get back to our friends, Angie. Understood. Yes, Doctor. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> Okay. Dr. Styles. Okay, Doctor, let's give it our best shot. Understood. Let's get us out of here, no matter what it takes, NG. But it's so dark, if I could just get a little light on this thing. Doctor, listen. Doctor, I still have the pen light from the car. Look, it's on our side. Okay. That must be the lid on the electronic lock. First, we need to take off the lid so we can check the circuit on. Check a tree. Like is like underneath. Use the Let's insert the scaffold into the gap and of the lid and force it open. Okay. It looks like it's working. Okay. <clears throat> Let's take a look inside and keep. Look. There's an iron line of plugs. If we pull them out, we may be able to short the circuit. But the plug 
That lid must be operational. Use the force then. I don't think we should touch the plug when it's lit. Mm. Okay. Okay, this is kind of works. Please, what? That's what I'm doing. How did I put that wrong? The DLR, Doctor. We couldn't do it. Oh. What do you think they're going to do with us? Oh. Six months passed after the abduction of Derek Styles and Angie Thompson. All leads were exhausted, and no one even knew if they were alive or dead. The battle against Delphi's bioterrorism worsened day by day, and for long, Derek and Angie faded in from memory. Wow. <laughs> That's dark. <laughs> okay. Doctor, stop. Understood. Doctor, listen. Use the scalpel. I'm trying to do like circles. I just was missing one. Okay, I'm gonna wait until it re leads and re turns on and off again. On, 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 on. Off. Okay. We did it. The lock has been disabled. Doctor, are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. Let's get going. That was exhausting. This can't be. No, it has two locks. It's all right. It's all right. We'll get through this one too. Okay, hang in there, Doctor. Okay. <laughs> Removal complete. Let's deal with the inside. It looks like the same structure as before. Pulling out the plugs should work. Okay. Wow, that was a long one. Okay, I'm gonna wait until this one turns off. Again, on and off. Okay. You're doing well. You did it, Doctor. The lock's been disabled. There's another one. Oh, wait. There's a third lock. This can't be. I won't give up. No, we can't give up. No matter how many of them there are. But it's pretty draining. I hope I still have enough energy to make a run after this. Doctor! All right, let's Don't worry, do let's keep disabling them. Okay. No, wait. Oh, no! Doctor. 
No, it turned on as I was putting it out. No! Okay. I've killed us. <laughs> Again. Well, technically, we don't know if we actually were murdered or not. Okay. Understood. It's not difficult, but... Okay. One out. It's all right. Okay. The cool thing is that I don't have to check the vitals on this thing. <laughs> Maybe I have to do it fast. Okay, I'm gonna wait until this turns off so that I can pull it out. Okay. The third one has to be the last one, right? I won't give up. Alright, let's do this. That was close. Okay. I'm just missing those two, right? Okay. On again. Off again. Wow, that was long. Doctor, you disabled the third lock. Don't tell me there's a fourth. There's a fourth? There's another lock. <laughs> there's another lock. This is the fourth one. Man, how many can there be? Doctor. This couple has gotten so tall, it may be hard to force open another lid with it. Maybe you can apply some sort of lubricant to lead it. The lead to compensate the old scalpel. Hold on. Okay. Now let's just do the circles. Okay. We just have to take care of them. Whoa, that was long. Okay, that thing's catching up to me, so I'm just gonna skip one. Okay. 
Okay. Uh -huh. The lock, it's disabled. The doctor, the door opened. Okay. So, fourth is the charm. I guess. <laughs> I get rewards of how many cools I get. Ah, happy. Okay, it's not bad. Okay, let's see how we escape. Turn, turn, turn. The ghost looks familiar. Let's go, Angie. Understood. Okay. I don't see any security cameras. Yeah. Oh, good. I didn't even think to check out for those. It's pretty late, too. Hopefully, there are fewer patrols around. So far, so good. Now, if only we could contact, contact Caduceus or even the police. Okay. Tragedy, no, I don't like the name of that. Um, that took me a little while to do. Uh, mainly because I wasn't focused that much. It wasn't a difficult uh, situation, but... Uh, I wasn't paying that much attention to how things worked, and apparently they can turn on while you're pulling it out, so that's one of the cases where I got caught. And yeah, uh, the first one I was just testing how things worked. <laughs> apparently, not so well. If you're giving instructions, you should follow them. But still, uh, we did it, and on the next one we're gonna be doing this tragedy. Uh, I don't know what that means. I hope nothing bad. But the name isn't uh, a happy name of the episode, so... Yeah, uh, let's hope for the best and expect the worst, I guess. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you did, and it's time. Drop it up. Bye-bye.